All right, Scorp, so if you're wanting something, you're going to have to give a little bit to get some, right? So, but you have to make sure that it's the right direction for you. So set your course, know where you wish to go, have a plan in the right direction, and then exchanging gifts. Now, set your course is saying that you need to know where you wish to go in this life. It says set goals, write a wish list of accomplishments. It says realizing that to bring your dreams into reality, you need to know what it is you want to do, be, or create. And then with exchanging gifts, it's talking about, it's almost like the Six of Pentacles to me. Like, you know, weighing everything out. But it's also talking about giving and receiving. So it says... You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push, pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, 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 do. <laughs> anyway, use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. So if we're talking about the value of what others are bringing, is it worth giving to, right? You need to set your course here before you start giving to something. All right, Scorp, here is your overall. Oh my God, really? You and Libra dealing with the King of Pentacles. Now for you, I feel a little bit different about this, but we'll see. With the King of Pentacles, and he, what is going on with him this week? With the King of Pentacles, you know, this could be a person that you're dealing with, you know, and like I said before, a male, female, earth sign, I don't care, you know, but it's about what's being projected outward. Now, for some of you, yeah, it's going to have to do with your success, right? And like setting that course, so to speak, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. He, he's got a bad reputation this week. We'll just put it that way, you know, dealing with somebody who's more focused on themselves. Now in the past, oh boy, the five of wands. So now this being the past though, hopefully, you know, we're getting over this. If you're dealing with a person, we're talking about, you know, you not getting along with someone or a group of people it could be in a work situation. You know, this is the butting of heads. You're not hearing me. Well, you're not hearing me, you know. Now for some of you, it is going to be about competition in the workplace, you know. But pettiness, pettiness and arguments and misunderstandings, but it's not the Five of Swords, so that's always a good thing. Now, I like this in terms of, you know, what is happening in the present moment, because to me, this is you kind of getting past whatever competition or conflict that you're dealing with in the past. With the Page of Wands, this is absolutely about you getting some good news getting ready to, you know, do something brand new in your life. There's enthusiasm there, you know, and unfortunately here, she doesn't look too excited. Like, I think my favorite page of wands would have to be from the witch's tarot because he looks so super excited, you know, but we'll see here. Now, if we're talking about a person, the only thing that I worry about with the page of wands is somebody telling you what, you know, they think you want to hear right but you know we'll see we'll see <laughs> future conditions so as great as this sounds and as much as you want to go ahead and take this new path with enthusiasm and excitement you kind of get pushed to a point here with seven of wands where you're like look you know it, this is what i expect and this is what i'm not going to deal with you know, and I'm not going to allow anybody to, you know, knock me down, so to speak, right? Because with the Seven of Wands, you're talking about having the higher ground, beating off that competition, which you've already done. But I also feel like, you know, if we're talking about somebody who, you know, is not willing to see your side, if you get to a place where, you know, communication starts to open up and you start hearing what you want from this person, this is like, you know, a look, okay, I'm not going to go through that again. And that's basically that, you know, but it is being a little bit defensive, you know, and it could just be because of a stupid disagreement, you know, but there may be something about it that you're having a hard time letting go of, 
which would be, you know, the reason why you're the seven of wands here in future conditions. Like, oh, hell no, I ain't dealing with any more bullshit. Not happening. Your best path to follow the two of pentacles. You know, this to me kind of feels like you're going to have to take a look at where you're a little bit too willing to kind of deal with certain things involving a person or people around you in general, you know, because like I said, with the King of Pentacles, I, I, I feel both. I feel like some of you are dealing with this person, but then I also feel like some of you are talking about, you know, your overall success here. But with the Two of Pentacles, what is it that you've been okay with and constantly keeping in balance? You know, that's kind of what you need to look at here and look at, you know, I, I can't be doing that anymore. Or I can't be willing to, like, say, okay, I'm just going to bend over backwards for you on this. No. You know, with the Seven of Wands, it's like, no. No. You, you're not going to continue to allow certain things to, you know, happen anymore. And then you being put in a position where you have to kind of, like, deal with it and figure it out, you know. Now, for some of you, absolutely, it's going to be about, like, managing money, especially with the King of Pentacles being there. And again, right, like, exchanging gifts, I kind of go back to that. But like I said, for a lot of you, this is dealing with a person here. You know, what is it that you've been dealing with involving them? And why are you trying to do what you can to manage it? You know, because that's not that's, it, it, you know, I almost feel like it's, it's not fair. In your environment, the Nine of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. And, you know, now it makes sense why she doesn't look all that, you know, thrilled, so to speak. So with the Nine of Pentacles, you know, this is you not wanting to be involved in any more conflict. Absolutely. Because we're talking about maintaining independence, so to speak here. You know, financially, absolutely being in a really good place. But, you know, it, as far as like work goes, looking at that leading into the Seven of Wands, it's like, you know, I'm not willing to compromise as far as, you know, where I'm at financially. So if I'm going to accept a new opportunity or take a new path, I'm not going to accept any less than what I've already made, you know. But again, for those of you who are dealing with a person here, I'm looking at it this way and you being a little bit too flexible here, getting to the point where you're like, look, I'm not dealing with that anymore. But then you also needing to have some level of independence. Like, you know, it's it's funny because it's almost like I'm not going to be your fool anymore. You know, I mean, certainly you have no problem with doing things on your own. And I think that some of you are fine with being on your own, but if it means getting involved with somebody where you're just not seeing eye to eye, it's kind of like, look, you know, I'm not going to be willing to let things, you know, go, especially if you're the one that's constantly having to manage like mood swings almost with someone. <laughs> your hopes and your fears, death. You know, of course that would be the hope and the fear, right? And there you are. So with death, the fear there would be that things are not going to change. The hope would be that, you know, there are things that are going to be changing involving, you know, dealing with a person or people. You know, this could be relationship or work here. But it, the fact that you have the King of Pentacles is the overall for a lot of you. I feel like this is somebody significant that you're focused on. You know, could be a romantic relationship, could be work whatever. But with death, this is really something needing to come to an end. We can't go back to the way things used to be. Things need to change, you know, and, and you're definitely there with the seven of wands and kind of like taking a stand, you know, but the fear there would be that, like I said, nothing changes. And then coming out temperance. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You know, immediately what I get from this is that you're continuing to like kind of keep the balance. You know, are you like drawing the line in the sand, but then being, you know, flexible still for this person, being patient with them, right? And not allowing yourself to 
get too, you know, upset or overly emotional, like desperately trying to keep your own inner balance going on with this, but are you doing it for the benefit of this person? But why? Why? You know? And I almost feel like for a lot of you, it's you kind of wanting to take this path of independence and getting away from this situation where there's all this pettiness and misunderstanding. But there's also this part here where it's like, no, you know, like, I don't feel like th this is someone you can walk away from that easily. But I don't like the fact that you're, you know, bending over backwards for them, so to speak, with that two of pentacles. You know, like, all right, if you're just going to continue to be that way, then I'll just deal with it. No, no. <laughs> Ooh, man. And then judgment. Shit. All right. And then, then I kind of go back to set your course, right? Is, is this really the course that you want to be on? All right. So with the magician and looking at the five of wands, this is definitely about your ability to make something happen, right? Manifesting that cool ass shit. I don't think that it's about dealing with manipulation. And if it is here, you're not having it because you're fighting back on this, you know, but I'm not really seeing this as a, like a, a really bad thing. But I think that, you know, for some of you, you may have been kind of like looking at this going, I can, you know, kind of make what I want happen out of this. You know, it, it's funny because it almost has like an emperor type feel. Like you have the ability to control what is happening here, but you're still butting heads with this person and you're still being patient with them. You know, and it makes me wonder if you're not like losing your confidence in what you are actually creating and needing to go back and look at where, you know, you're setting your course, so to speak. Now, with the Nine of Wands, looking at the Page of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, there are some things that clearly you have been through with this person. And you're not really willing to kind of let go of. You're not willing to drop your guard with them. The communication may be exactly what you want to hear. And it may be really good to hear. But I think that there is a part of you that knows better. And knows that that's fine that we're moving out of this stupid argument and your understanding. But are you going to slip back into doing the same shit again? So, you know, there, there's still that part of you that's kind of protecting yourself against that, I feel like. Because, you know, again, like remaining independent or needing to keep some level of independence here and not getting fully involved based on, you know, the past arguments and pettiness and just stupid shit. And then judgment, man, damn, that's big, big, big coming out here. Now, for some of you, with temperance being there, that may actually be a good thing. <laughs> Even though, you know, some of you are being, you know, a, a little bit too willing to be patient and, you know, again, like fle be flexible for this person. But I look at judgment and what I feel like here is that you're coming out of this and you're trying to find your own inner balance here, but you're also kind of looking at everything, right? Because with judgment, we're talking about you, you know, having to review the entire thing that you've been through involving this person or a work situation or somebody that you're dealing with at work, whatever the case may be here. But that to me is a little bit heavy because if you're drawing the line in the sand, but yet you're still having to be patient with this person while they kind of like, you know, do their own thing here. Do you kind of get pushed to the point where you're going to have to review all of this and set a different course? You know, because again, give and take, right? Is it worth the investment? If you're constantly having to bend over backwards for the benefit of somebody else who is causing you conflict and issues. Damn, man. And you know, you know that no matter what you say and no matter what you do, there is a possibility that this is not going to change, you know, but I don't think that you're ready to call it just yet, but I do think that you're going to take a really hard look at it and, you know, probably ask yourself whether or not this is where you wish to go, right? And passion, right? needing to get your balance back so that you can experience passion in your life. 
but this situation is definitely not in balance. But I do see you trying to get there coming out with temperance. But, you know, pulling on your strength here to find your own balance in order for there to be more passion. You know, but I'm not, I'm not seeing anything here that would indicate that this situation is going to be, you know, completely over with. But I think you get close with judgment, you know, but it makes me wonder if the person that you're focused on isn't, you know, really like needing you almost, you know, and it's funny because I'm getting that, right? Because now normally with the King of Pentacles, if we're talking about a person that you're dealing with, he knows how to create what he needs. But I keep getting like the feeling of him being more needy of another person, you know? But I don't doubt that there's passion there, you know? But you need to have some kind of balance before that passion can kind of come back, right? And do you have the strength to keep things in balance or keep yourself in balance, right? And then navigating by the stars, follow your bliss, Okay. Mm so, you know, for some of you, you may need to get away for a little bit. And that's basically it, right? And go and travel and do, you know, what is going to make you happy. I, I feel like both of these are kind of like pointing to you needing to kind of take a step back. Now, far away places, right? New horizons. New horizons are going to be far off. You know, which I kind of go back to death and think about, you know, you fearing that nothing is going to change. But, you know, it's important for you to follow your bliss, follow your happiness. If your happiness lies with this person or this situation, then, you know, definitely see it through. But for some of you, if you realize that that's not the course that you're meant to be on, then you need to start following where your own personal star is leading you.